So today, we are hitting Calico in the Jeep. Um, if you don't know about Calico, it's one of the most fun trails here in SoCal. Um, it also has a ghost town, which is kind of a tourist trap, but it is a beautiful scenery place, um, or beautiful scenic place. I have my co-driver, Miranda, with me. And Hi. <laughs> this is Miranda. She's the best co-pilot I could ever ask for besides my dog. So I am dealing with some uh, temperature issues, so... <sighs> Not that I'm going easy on it, but I had to take the hood off. Teeter tottering. I'm going to pull him backwards so we can find a different line. His rocker panel is already dented in. We're about to ruin it a little bit more. Taking some damage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, next time just do Pucker Pass. <laughs> nice. But most of the time, like the goal with an auto, I mean, a manual is when you're climbing over something to always stay in gear, like give it enough gas to stay in first. Because the minute you push in the clutch and then you, um, like you're out of gear, you're gonna have to roll back to restart that again. And sometimes like, that's not what you really want to do. Because it can be kind of stressful if you have to, like to roll back sometimes is scary. <laughs> so, it's just better to try to always stay in gear. And when you're in four low, it's easier to stay in gear because you have such high RPMs. Or, yeah, like a little bit of gas gives you a lot of RPMs. So you get a lot of torque. So you can stay kind of feathering the gas while trying to climb up something. And it'll stay in gear. But the moment the car like hits a rock or stay, or like comes to a stop, if you don't push the clutch in fast enough, you'll stop. And that's why it helps to have a pedals that like you're really comfortable with and you can um, like pivot your foot. Because you want to be able to do that. Like the clutch can be up here, but your gas pedal should always 
your heel should always be on the ground so that you can like have more control. That's for every car really, but especially with off-roading in a manual. to the mine shafts. One of the prettiest places here in Calco. craziest part is we got gas before we started this trail yeah. and I the little needle has not left the F oh, wow. the whole time yeah nice. it's great try to do like a double screen here where I will be at the bottom corner and you'll be able to see the truck um, from the outside. Yeah. So I think like people have just started to come here. Go! Drop by yourself! Don't make me have to do it. Okay, you're about to drop on the driver's side. Slow, slow, slow. Footage of those guys in there really quick. It's crazy. I, I mean, that section is 
I mean, you gotta have a truck like that to be able to wheel on that section. But uh, we couldn't stick around because we're hungry, but I was able to get some footage of them. pulled in and my wheel fell off. Well, I got super lucky because nothing there is broken. Holy shit. Yeah, those, those luggage my fenders are totally not, fine. Those luggage I get lucky with random things. And even though it's a shit show, I still got lucky that it happened at camp. So, or not on the freeway, which would have been probably my biggest fear. Fixed is fixed. So the force of the wheel coming off stripped these. So we're taking one nut off of each tire to fulfill this one. So I'm gonna have four instead of five on all four tires. The Jeep knew it too, like, I'm gonna get you back to camp, and then I'm gonna explode. Hey, so what are you doing? I'm like putting my pushing back on. Right, <laughs> back on the road after that shit show. Going to head home and take a shower and get all clean, but thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. Please like and subscribe. If you don't, I mean, I'm still gonna wheel, so you'll be missing out. Bye.